Let's play 15 minutes later. It's game C23 in the Math Card Games book. Before you begin, show the children how to determine what time it will be in 15 minutes using clock A from the back of the Math Card Games book. We'll demonstrate now. All right, let's pretend it's 10 o'clock. All right, Stephen, what time will it be 15 minutes later? Can you move this hand for me and count and show us? Oh, very good. Can you move the hand and show us what time it will be? And Megan, I'm going to ask you to tell me what time is that? It was 10 o'clock and it's 15 minutes later, so the time is now 10.15. Do you agree? Is that right? Sure it is. Okay, now the, we're going to get started playing the game. And to do so, we have two sets of clock cards. They're two different colors. One becomes the stockpile, and that's the hour cards in the minute. And the others are the cards that we're going to play with. So I'm going to distribute the cards, and the students are going to put their cards face up on the table. So first, I'm going to give you your hour cards. Turn them upright, laying out on the table so we can all see. And once they have those in place, then I'll distribute the next set. Okay, so we have our hour hands in place. Now I'll give you your minute hands, and you'll put those in a pile underneath those. Now the objective of this game is to be the first player who gets rid of all of your cards. So they need to pay attention and try to learn the telling of time in order to do that. All right, let's begin. We're going to begin. First, I'm going to turn over the hour and the minute of our stockpile. So the time is 1.25, and I'm going to let Megan set the hands of the clock for 1.25. All right, and then Stephen, you'll get to help me figure out what time will it be 15 minutes later. So which hand do you think we use for the hour? Do we use the little hand or the big hand? The little hand. Okay, so the little one has to point to one, very good. And the big hand has to point to 25, but there's no 25 on my clock. What am I gonna do? Point to five. We count by fives. Can you count by fives with me? Let's do it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So we set the hands for 25. Now, let's see what time it will be 15 minutes later. Stephen, I'm going to let you count by fives for me. Ready? 5, 10, 15. All right. Notice that Stephen likes to look on the envelope to try to help him with his counting by fives, and that's perfectly okay to do that. We want to give the children whatever helps they need in order to be able to learn this skill. So, Stephen, we've counted by fives. Ready? Five, 10, 15. Can you move the big hand and point to the eight? All right. The time is 1.25, and we went 15 minutes later. What time is it now? It's still pointing to the one. Now, let's start at the top and count by our fives again. Ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, 35, 40. All right, let's, it's 140. Good job, Megan. Good job, Stephen. So let's look who has the one o'clock, the hour hand that says one. Oh, Megan has it. Who has the minute hand that says 40 or 410? Mm -hmm. oh, very good, Stephen. All right, so our time 15 minutes later would be one o'clock or 140, right? Are we ready to do another one? All right, let's do another one. Let's turn one more over. And again, the children can do this on their own once they understand how to do it. Okay, so our next time is 9.20. I'm going to help Stephen to set the hands this time. Okay, so Stephen, set the hour hand for 9 o'clock. Excellent. And this one is going to show 20 minutes. We're going to start at the top, and let's count by fives. Ready? Five, Five 10, 15, 20. All right, so it's 9.20, and Megan, I'm going to let you then decide what time will it be 15 minutes later. It's 9.20 right now. 5, 10, 15. What time will it be? 9.35. Excellent, 9.35. So who has the 9 o'clock with their hours? <gasps> Stephen has it. Good job. And we'll put it right on top. And Megan has the 35. So you're both getting rid of some of your cards, aren't you? All right, do you understand how to play this game? Do you think you could play it all by yourself? The 30 minutes later game 
is exactly like the 15 minutes later game, except that now you're looking for the time 30 minutes after. You use the same exact cards and same setup and the same clock, either clock A or clock B from the back of the math card games book. Other numbers may be substituted to keep the game interesting. Children need variety as the brain learns through novelty and then establishes a pattern for quicker retrieval.